Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Gordon, and I'm with iState.tv, and this is a very special news watch. This is breaking effing news. I don't know how many times we're going to do breaking effing news, but this definitely is worthy of being called breaking effing news. Local school to create patriotic world citizens. That's right. Patriotic world citizens and it does it in the name of a good citizen contract this this episode was the fruit of a document which we'll get to that my daughter brought home to me from the school district that she goes to now i i do not advocate for public schooling i you know full disclosure i am not pro government schooling uh, not not in the least sense of the word i do practice peaceful parenting and my daughter is is of an age that i believe that she could make a decision for herself and my beliefs were different when she first began school and my beliefs changed after she had been in the school system for a while so she has been given the choice to well unschooling is is what i would really rather that she chose but if i'm doing peaceful parenting and i believe in unschooling i'm don't believe that I, it's going to be very fruitful for me to pull her out of the school system against her will if she really doesn't want to go outside the school system it's probably not going to go very well and i'm not actually sending her the message that i'm actually hoping that she gets the the values that i would like to transfer to my daughter should she choose to accept them the values of 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 um, basically the values of of individual liberty if you will but i i won't get too 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 bogged down by that but before i get into the document i I, I want to get into all of this is uh it, it's uh what initially triggered all of this was the 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 word that popped up there were many words that really triggered the response that you're gonna see here but the word that that leapt out at me that I said okay no 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 that's uh, that's that's way too far I, I've got to respond to this and that's the word patriotic so before I get to the document, I want to get to this. Uh, I am at the website modernnotion.com. And the article here is, um, why are these American school children performing the Nazi salute? Well, that's an interesting question. By the way, Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag of the United States of America. Big, big part of, of my daughter's uh, daily morning routine when she goes to the, the government-run school. So the, the article uh, says the... The, the, the Pledge of Allegiance has been around since the late 1800s. And uh, what you see here, if you, you see there, the, both the picture they're showing and the picture that, that I have uh, right there, that looks like a Nazi salute, does it not? Looks really, really like a Nazi salute. Well, according to this article, this stream site is actually children performing what was called the Bellamy Salute, and it was completely a normal thing to do back in the early 1900s. How did this come about? Well, in 1892, a man by the name of Daniel Sharp Ford, owner of the popular magazine, The Youth's Companion, had flags installed in every classroom across the country to spread American, wait for it, wait for it, patriotism. Then, to push this patriotism further, he decided to have one of his staff members, Francis J. Bellamy, write a pledge that the children could recite every morning before class. Bellamy eventually created the Pledge of Allegiance that we're all familiar with today. Now, I want to add here the, the One Nation Under God was, was, was actually added uh, in, in the 50s. But it didn't originally say One Nation Under God. Despite the pledge's success, Bellamy saw a problem. The children looked super weird <laughs> Super weird. The article says super weird. Uh, maybe creepy. Maybe very, very creepy. It looked unnatural. It looked creepy. It Why? It looked like maybe something that you would see uh, in North Korea. Maybe. Well, actually, this doesn't really make it better. So 
So, so he decided to create what was known as the Bellamy Salute, which involved the children covering their hearts with their right hands and then stretching their arms out toward the flag. Yeah, everything was going fine until the mid-30s when the news of Hitler's rise to power started to spread around the world. Pictures and newspapers were showing thousands of supporters supporting, performing the Bellamy Salute and saying, Heil Hitler! Now... They didn't get rid of it right away. It took it took a decade, uh, or so. Over the course of the next day, the decade, the Bellamy salute soon became the hot button issue in America, and eventually, Congress could ignore the problem any longer and decided in 1942 that the Pledge of Allegiance, which is interesting, okay, it, it was in the 30s that you saw Hitler's rise, and they immediately were doing the Bellamy salute. Now, a little interesting. Factoid is the uh, the American progressives uh, were not exactly anti Hitler early on. So is it a coincidence that it wasn't until America actually went to war with Germany that Congress decided to get around to changing the way you do it? So they they nixed the Bellamy salute and they replaced it with the hand over the heart. Now, folks. Just so you know, this was, at one point, this was thought of as good, this little Bellamy salute. And now, the the essential trappings of the whole thing, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, now you stand with your heart over your hand. Other than that, the essential trappings are the same. They added the under God in the 50s, but it's essentially the same. And it was intended. It was intended to transfer this notion of patriotism onto the next generation. Now, with that said, I am going to simply read to you the document, the document that my daughter brought home with her from school. Really, just just a couple days ago. 